So I bought a planer and it has a ruler on it and this little red thing uh, that goes up and down as you crank on it. Find it a little bit inaccurate. So I went ahead and bought this uh, linear scale on Amazon. Uh, I'll leave a description uh, in, in, in the link, a link to the description down below. But it has basically a sliding scale and a reader head and some hardware, a couple of batteries. Uh, it has options for mounting it uh, different ways other than just straight on. It's got a little bracket to hold the screen so that you can uh, you know, remote mount that. Um, just kind of trying to figure out if, you know, how am I going to mount this thing. It looks like I can maybe just put it straight on there. It kind of feels like the main head unit is going to be a little bit stressed out if I just bolt it straight to the front of it. So I think I will uh, see if there's other options that I can use. Maybe pull this bracket off and try something different. Comes with a few different ones. Let's try this L bracket. It should just bolt right back on here and uh, maybe put some foam tape on it to uh, audition it to see if it's going to be, you know, working well. This part will double stick tape to the red portion that moves and this other piece of tape will kind of sit on top of the original bracket. I'm just going to try to get it as straight up and down and and parallel to the you know the part that moves just to make sure it doesn't rack or do anything weird when it goes all the way up because it does travel quite a ways and once I get it nice and straight and test it I will put a screw in the top of it to hold it nice and tight So here it is, screw secures it, use just a little hurricane bracket or some sort of a, you know, construction bracket and now I have a screen that shows me where I've been and then I can go up and down from there and then come back to zero for each piece and know that I'm going to be pretty close. So now that we have it set up, I just pulled the screen off so that I can get a better eye on it for the camera. I'm going to move this down until I hit the top of the wood and see that it indicates on the, um, I guess this thing tells you how much cut you're taking. So if I just barely move it, I shouldn't be taking anything. And for this purpose, I'm just trying to get a uh, repeatable measurement. So I set it at zero, I come down and it says 0 0.001, which is one thousandth of an inch, which is pretty accurate. Uh, I'm going to measure this piece of wood with a depth uh, caliper. I guess that's a caliber, I don't know, depth gauge. Set it at zero and then push it down to the table and see that it's 0.446 thousandths uh, or roughly, roughly a half an inch. So I'll put that piece in over the top of the MDF that was already in there that we set the zero to on the router or the planer, sorry. And we're gonna go down until we just see that move again and see how close it is to what I expected from that piece of wood. It's like about 450. Anyway, uh, that's, that's it. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's all uh, assembled and ready to go. Um, let me know what to think in the comments down below, what I could have done differently, what I could have done better. Uh, yeah, 